We on the road to One Piece, burning blood. What is going on, my people? It is your UK Trotter brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around. And I'll be saying my top five Marines that I like in One Piece. So get your fried chicken, get your Kool-Aid, and sip them cheeks down. Because you know, you definitely know this UK Trotter brother will be going ham on this video. So I'll further ado. Let me just get on with this. My voice went weird there. But anyways, at number five, it is Kobe. And the reason why I put Kobe at number five is we haven't seen him do a lot, to be honest. We haven't seen him do a lot, to be honest. But I liked Kobe as a character. And I always felt that this guy was going to train and become a strong Marine. Based on the stuff he's saying, based on the stuff that they showed with him and Garb. There was a reason why he was put with Garb. The reason why he was put with Garb, in my opinion. And this is my opinion, so don't come for my cheeks. In my opinion, the reason why he was put with Garb is the fact that he can receive special training. Special training so that he can improve in terms of strength, in terms of power, in terms of what he can do. We've yet to see him. We are yet to see him in the time skip but I know for a fact when they show his cheeks this guy will be a beast he'll be a boss and he will be a strong ass character and he will have mastered Haki or he would have had a devil fruit he will have a massive a massive power up to be on par with okay not really on par to be in a position that he can actually keep up with Luffy not stronger than Luffy be able to keep up with Luffy because the way I see this is I see Kobe being what Garp was to go D. I see Kobe being friends with Luffy, but knowing that he can't do anything if Luffy gets himself in trouble, knowing that if Luffy does anything wrong, because they're friends, but they're on opposite sides, you know what I'm saying, if that makes sense to you. If you disagree with me, put that down in the comments down below, but Kobe is at number five for me. <laughs> but anyways, at number four is Captain Cancer, bruh. What I mean, Captain Cancer, bruh, this is what Platinum calls him. His name is Smoker. Smoker, the reason why I call him that, this guy has two cigars in his mouth. He, he, is, he is crying out for lung cancer. I know that's not a joking matter, but this guy with them two cigars in his mouth, bruh. Like, wow. <laughs> this guy needs to chill with them two cigars. But as a whole, Smoker is a badass character. I like the way he tried to take on Virgo. If you guys are not caught up, You'll find out who Virgo is in the future. I like the way he tried to take on Virgo. I like the fight with Team Him a lot. That fight was beast. That fight was epic. And I like what Smoker is starting to realize how the Marines are corrupted. And how starting to realize that he needs to do what is right. Because Smoker's a generally good guy. Like, there are some Marines that are generally good, but they, they just they just do their job, you know what I'm saying? They do their job. They do their job. And the thing about Smoker is. He has that badassery to himself. He has that cool ass ability. Even though he knows he cannot beat some, he will still try and put in the shift. And that is the reason why I like Smoke Up. He may be trying to like walk himself into like the grave, but still, he is an absolute beast. And he's one character I'll be looking forward to using in One Piece Burning Blood. Okay, now on to number three. Number three is Gop. And the reason why I like Garp is because this guy is such a joker. This guy is such a joker. And at some points, I feel sorry for the fact that he had to go up against Luffy and he had to go up against Ace. Two people that he raised and brought up. So him thinking about all the stuff that is, that is going on and the fact how much it hurt him to see what happened to Ace. It hurt him a lot. It hurt him a lot. He even let... He even hurt the fact that he know he knew what Luffy was feeling. That's why Sengoku had to hold him back from doing anything that he would regret. Sengoku had to hold him back because he knew that Garp was gonna go ape shit on his cheeks, bruh. He was gonna slap them cheeks. And when I mean slap them cheeks, he's gonna slap a certain someone's cheeks that did that certain something to Ace, which I'm not going to mention because I'm trying to keep this spoiler free. But anyways. I like Garp, I like his personality, I like how he's like Luffy, there's some elements of Luffy and I like every time Luffy does something wrong, he's like, hey, hey, that's my grandson, <laughs> I like, I like Garp a lot, he's, he's a cool ass marine, I hope we get to see more of him in the time skip, but as a whole, he kind of feels that pain of knowing that he has to be against his grandson because he wants his, he wanted Luffy to become a marine and he wanted Ace to become a marine as well, and Garp is just a cool character. He's funny. I, I like Garp a lot, bruh. I like his dub voice actor and I like his sub voice actor. They're both really good. 
Okay, on to number two. Number two is my man, former admiral. But this guy, this guy still counts because he was he was still a marine. He was still a marine. Former admiral Aokiji. Admiral Aokiji is an absolute brute. He is an absolute brute. Like seeing when he took on Luffy, seeing when he's like, okay, um, that's some big number, some crap. Like seeing his goofiness, seeing his personality, seeing that he does not put up with any crap. That's why he took on that certain person, and that's why he left the Marines. I'm not gonna say why he left the Marines. You're gonna find out why he left the Marines when you get into the show. But Admiral Aokiji is an absolute beast, or Kuzan, whatever you guys want to call him. He's an absolute beast, and. He's, he virtually was, I just I just like him, I like his abilities, I like all he's about and he just has that bad, sass, bad, bad, sassery, bad assery to himself and uh, hopefully we get to see more of him because it kind of hinted this guy's kind of on the neutral but I'm not sure what is, what is happening with him as a character because this guy is just like traveling all over the place but him as a character, I hope we get to see more of him. When they did show hit more of him, he had good intentions. He was a good guy. Most of the time, he did stuff because he had to do it because he's a Marine. But he is one of the few good Marines out there. So at number one, it is my man Fujitora. <laughs> Fujitora. He is an absolute beast. The way they introduce him, the way he is so mysterious, and the way he is, and his, ab his abilities... Lord have mercy. I mean, Lord have mercy. Like, that guy is absolutely, is an absolute beast. I like his name. Fujitora, bruh. Fujitora. I like his name. I like his um, character. I like what he's all about. The way they introduced him, the way they showed off his ability, the way they showed off what he can do for a blind man. He is an absolute beast. It's, he might, you might as well just give him eyes because... This guy's observation is on fleek. Like, I really like Fujitora. One character I'm gonna be looking forward to using. I like his ability. I like the fact that he can shoot meteors out of the sky. I like the fact that he controls gravity. I like the fact that he's a decent swordsman. And I like um, his aims and I like who he is as a character. He's an interesting character. I like to see more of him. And yeah, I like Admiral Fujitora. And yeah, he is my favorite Marine. Before, it was Al Kiji, bruh. Black Ice. But now it is my man, Admiral Fujitora. He's one of my, my favorite Marines and one of my favorite characters in general in One Piece. But as a whole, guys, I want to know your overall thoughts and opinions about this list. Give me your list of your the Marines you like or your favorite Marines, your top five Marines in One Piece. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. And before I end this video, let me just do honorable, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions are Sengoku, bro. This is a guy. He's a white guy with with plaits of a beard and an afro. Come on, you gotta like this guy, Sengoku. I'm not really a big fan of his ability, but he's he, other than that, he's, he's dreadlocks and his beard, bro. That that is pretty cool, bro. I like I like them locks and the beard, bro. And Helmipo, <laughs> I gotta say that with a serious face, bro. Helmipo. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways guys, I want to know your overall thoughts and opinions, leave it down in the comments section below because this has been the UK Chocolate Brother, Dr. Nick, the darkest man around and it's time for me to put down that fried chicken and the Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. So please comment and subscribe, I know I say this all the time but at the end of the day I'm just saying, please like really enjoy this video and yeah, this UK Chocolate Brother. Catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.